How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games. We are back with another Daz Watches. Childhood. We all remember our childhood growing up. Some had good, some had bad. Some had a mixture. Some are forced to live in a tent in the middle of the woods. That is the theme of today's video. <laughs> it gets worse and worse as the Daz Watches go on, doesn't it? Today's video is from the YouTube channel Truly, and it is called I Drink My Urine and Live in a Tent with My Kids. Here we are with the urine again. We've started a trend. <laughs> let's see what this is all about and let's see if the children, what I would like to know, if they actually enjoy living there. Let's watch the video. I live in a tent with two kids and they love it. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. I hope. <laughs> Do you love living in a tent, Nani? Yeah. I like drinking my own urine. It was going so well. It was going so well. It may have been the first normal Daz watches in history, but we're back to piss drinking. Mm, yummy. People have criticized my parenting style, calling me crazy, mad. I mean, the children have obviously grown up like this. They haven't grown up in a home with, you know, technology and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, as long as the living environment is safe and clean, who gives a shit? Sit down now. So no regrets? So this is where we live. Well, that literally is a tent. At least they got a fridge. That's nice. This is our uh, tent home. The thing is, not to judge, but she looks like the type of person that would live in a tent. Anyone who wears tie dye lives in a tent. Okay, you, you guys want to go sit back there then? Because he's going to ask me a few more questions. Thank you. Well, why can't they be in shot, Mum? Huh? A little bit strict with them, isn't she? We've been living in this way for about a year. We first started living in a tent because of the rental crisis. Oh. A lot of people are actually looking for alternative ways to live. Like, uh, a friend of mine bought a caravan, literally, just in case. And I like the whole idea about going off-grid and screwing the energy companies. Like, they're earning billions because we want light. I say go back to the days of fireplaces and candles. Give the fire brigade something to do. <laughs> And the capacity to spend with my children. <laughs> and so. That was a planned shot. And of course, they have a guitar. It is the ultimate hippie stereotype, isn't it? I love being connected to nature. I love having the. <laughs> I, listen, I love nature. We just did uh, Daz and Dave Survival 2. Link in description. And I, I saw turtles, sharks, so ma much marine life. I just love nature. I love it. But I don't feel that in order to show I love nature, I need to stop using soap and I need to walk everywhere barefoot because that's how Mother Earth intended it. I hate that shit. <laughs> it's just, just buy shoes. Once you step on something, you'll know it. I love having the trees as my walls. Yeah, that'll stop a serial killer. Those pesky trees. In the same room here, and I just sleep right next to them. I think it's really important for good attachment. For or over their attachment. Try getting rid of that shit when they're older. Try explaining to them when they're 20 why they can't spoon with you. I made that mistake with my daughter. Like, I let her sleep in our bed until she was like five, six, and she just would not sleep on her own. She was scared of being on her own because, you know, like she says, she was like, too attached. It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare to get her back into her own bed. But when they're babies, you just want to put them there and just look at them and just watch them so they're breathing. I get it. But, like, you, you can't do it for, forever. And to feel safe. It's how we've always been living in tribe. There's people that think they're a tribe because they live in their garden. Honestly. It's the mentality behind it. It's the, you know, the, ah, spiritual. <laughs> I can't stand it. It does my head in. Lots and lots of rooms to clean. I used to live in a four bedroom house with a swimming pool. You know, I spend so- God damn. We do take a lot for granted, you know, and we do feel like, we do feel like we need more than we actually need. I'd be happy with a little um, hut on the beach. I wouldn't complain. You scared me. <laughs> okay. Oh, Go on, and then put it straight onto those fire lighters. These kids are gonna learn some awesome skills though. You know, when they grow up and they start dating and they can just light a fire with their bare hands, like that's gonna be some impressive shit. And so I've taken him out and we're now, I guess you would call it unschooling for the moment. 
the school system for the largest part is a scam. I think that education is important and I think we need to like, we need to redo our educational structure. A lot of it is just based on like, you have to be good at all these subjects and if not, you fail. You're told you're a failure. I'm, I'm, I'm terrible at maths. I am awful. Can't do it. But doesn't mean I'm a failure, you know? Especially when we got calculators in our pockets now. But I think, I think, you know, you can, you can gain a lot from school, especially a lot of social stuff. We all live on this planet together and just to, to keep yourself like as a literal tribe in the woods away from everyone. When your kids grow up, I don't know, it kind of limits their options, but there's pluses to both. It's nice to be outside a lot, isn't it? Do you like being outside? Yeah. You like collecting bugs? Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm kind of exploring. It is almost though, like when she's asking them that, she's almost like telling them. You know, she's not going, hey, Aya, do you like living here? Do you like this life? Do you miss the pool, the house? She's not asking it like that. She's going, you like playing with bugs, don't you? You like living in the fucking middle of the forest, don't you? You like hearing badgers, wolves and foxes outside the hut, don't you? Like, that's how she's asking them. She's kind of like reinfirming it and not, not actually seeing how they feel. Why is she doing yoga in the middle of an interview? What's all like, it's just, I, I, honestly, overly spiritual people, Piss me off. <laughs> Listening to music, he just really likes to kind of relax. What do you like the most um, to do with the family? What do you like most doing with me and Lani? Not like having his eyebrows burnt off. Fire's scaring the shit out of him. What do you like about being barefoot, Lani? So then I can feel the grass. Yeah. To feel nice under your feet. Being barefoot is great, but I, I think like all the time, um, you can't, you can't live like it. You can't do it. Oh, I'm just thinking about just stepping on, just stepping on something like a thorn. Some of these thorns out in the woods, have you seen them? They're massive. If that goes through your foot, whoo! All your spiritual energy ain't gonna pull that out. You gotta go to A&E. Yes. Yeah. Me and my kids are usually barefoot all the time. Apart from in the wet season when it got really, really muddy, we got a staph infection. Yeah. There it is. There it is. They're, they're, they're not good. Those <laughs> foot infections can kill you, actually. You have to have a, a respect for nature. So this is my Zen meditation medicine plant garden. It's a what? It just looks like weeds. Let's learn. Let's learn. Let's not be ignorant. <laughs> and the kids love the space too. Yay! To be surrounded by nature, in nature, bare feet is... I don't know what the hell these are. They must do something. I'm not very good with gardening. I believe what doctors can do is they can diagnose from a physical perspective. And that's really helpful some of the time. We've got the lucky bamboo. Well, at least she's taking her kids to the doctors. That's one thing. There's a lot of kids out there that don't get medical treatment. They just pray. It's all, it's all good to pray. Pray, pray the disease away, but also take them to the doctor as well. Let's, let's do that. It's wild raspberry. And wild raspberry is... For uh, kindness. It's for kindness and it's... Fuck me, it's a berry. I, I just... <laughs> I'm actually learning all this shit. My, uh, my fiance, she, um... She goes to all these, like, I don't even know what to call them. They're like witchy kind of shops, you know, where you buy like different like herbs for like burning and stones and crystals and stuff like that. And just women believe in all this like energy that comes from shit. And she she actually saged the house when when she moved in and uh, it smelled amazing. It smelled so good. The only problem is, is it brought every fucking spider out of every orifice. I was, I went into the kitchen, they were hanging from the ceiling, they were standing on the floor. All the spiders were smacked off their tits on Sage. And I was like, I, th I thought this went positive vibes! I thought you were trying to protect us! You summoned every critter within a mile radius. <laughs> but I'm trying to be open-minded, I'm trying to learn about this shit. It's also for motherhood and... I do urine. Th that is a toilet on the table. What's that for? And I do urine therapy. What is urine therapy? What is it? We know you drink it because of the intro, but what is urine therapy? The whole idea of the urine therapy for me, it's a self-love practice. This. Oh, it's in the jam jar. Shit. Wait, she's storing them in jam jars. Now listen, I might. No, I can't get over with it. You might drink your own piss. 
Why are you drinking day old piss? How old is that piss in the jar? Oh God. So I loop my urine, which means whenever I need the toilet, I'll pee into a jar and I'll drink it. There's a lot of this video that disgusts me. Mainly drinking your own piss. It, 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 it doesn't do anything for you. It's dangerous. We, we've been over this. We've, for, unfortunately, we have been over this. Yummy. I started off just putting it on my face. It's really good for acne, any skin conditions, any eczemas or things like that. It's not. <laughs> When I first started doing the urine therapy, my kids found it absolutely hilarious that mummy was drinking her own wee. It's funny. When they get to 18 though, they might start looking at it differently. To them, they just see me doing it and they don't really question it anymore. Do they do it? Don't make your kids drink pee. Okay, so hey guys, it's a really beautiful time of the day. It's a beautiful time of the day. <laughs> it's, it's such a beautiful day. <laughs> no one talks like that. Stop it. I've been working on social media for probably the last five years. When I moved into the tent, I think people were just really interested. It is. It's an interest of many people. People are looking for a way out of this system. This, you know, gotta get a mortgage, gotta pay the banks, gotta, you know. And it is shit. It really is shit. We are um, taxed to fuck. And the concept of like money um, is is such bullshit. It's just a form of control. Governments need poverty. They need people to struggle. That's what the school system really encourages. You're deemed as a failure. People won't hire you, so they'll keep you poor. Like it, it really is structured um, and aimed down at us. Sometimes I wish we could just like have like a, a French Revolution all over again. You know. Just millions of us storming the capital. I'd love that. I'd, I'd be all up for that. Just, you know, l imagine if we all just lived off our own land. Like, we didn't have to earn money. Like, we, we, you get what you work for. That would balance everyone out, that would. I put up a video of us in the tent. Somebody commented, oh, it That was gross, but kid, probably hungry. Probably only eats sand. It looks lovely, but I would be so scared that someone would come and snatch my children out of the tent. It's a possibility. Especially now that you're putting it out on the internet. You know, what about the snakes? Well, I feel blessed if I see a snake. Yeah, when, it, when it's wrapped around your child and your child's face is purple, blessed is not a feeling that you feel when you see a snake. <laughs> I don't even know where they are in the world. Um, so I don't know. Is it Australia? If it is, then you are fucking brave bringing your kids out in a tent in the middle of nowhere. I've had lots of people say how disgusting it is that I'm drinking my own urine. Yeah, I would, I would, have, I would have posted that as well. I can see from the responses and the reactions um, how people are feeling this fear within themselves. Also, they do go to like their, I think this is like their grandmother's house. So they do get like a taste of, um, you know, civilization as well. So it really is gonna like, they're gonna struggle with that. They're gonna see grandma's nice carpet <laughs> and then have to go back and sleep on the ground. I don't know. Of choosing another way of being able to live in nature. Well, the day that I met Lucy. I was a landowner, okay. So my first thought was, well, if you've got two children, you better come here because I'll help you and I'll keep you safe. Oh my God, she's so sweet. Yeah, she knows that she sees the dangers that are out there, you know. The threat of being kicked out was, you know, hanging yeah. over us in quite a few places, so. And it happened yeah. three times. Right, so there you go. Really yeah, that's, that's horseshit as well. Like, I mean, you can't just camp anywhere that you want as well. That's what I mean. What we should do, Dazzlers, is we should raise enough money to buy a massive plot of land and just, just live on it. We should all just live on it as a community. But don't drink each other's piss. Don't do it. I don't have children. I don't know what I'd do if I had children. I'd be homeschooling them. Yeah, I, I think um, my daughter just finished school, but, and I, because I, I, I really wanted her to have, um, like, the social elements, but, like, when I, when I think back, um, like, homeschooling might have been a better option, but I just didn't want her to lose touch with, like, the social side of school, if that makes sense. But I always said to her, don't worry about your grades, just do your best. After school, you can improve on what you're good at and go after what you're good at. You don't need to be good at everything. 
And I think that's what homeschooling is, is all about. With me, so it's really nice to come here and feel like, like I'm a good mother. Well, I think you I, are. I kind of knew that I was, but I had yeah. all these. I think she is definitely worried that she's, I think the negativity has gotten to her. Like I said, as long as they're like, or, you know, all, all jokes aside, as long as they're like happy and healthy, she takes them to like a doctor to get treatment, etc. And she's not going to, I mean, if she wants to drink her own piss, that, I think that's batshit crazy. But, um, you know, she might encounter, uh, she might also be worried that the kids when they get older might start to want to live more like their landowner here and like their friends. Like, you know, and uh, that's something that if she's true to her word, that she's doing what her children want to do, she'll find a way to let them do that. But I also, on the other hand, feel bad for her because everyone's struggling. Like, the cost of living is crazy right now. And, you know, even people that earn amazing salaries are struggling. And it's it's so shit. You might call me homeless, but I'm at home within myself. What's Ace's destiny? Climbing trees. Ace's destiny is to be eaten by a fucking crocodile. All right? Keep them out of the water in Australia, oh my God. Similar values to what I have and feeling like you are free to live the life that you choose. If you wanna go off and live in the woods, you can go off and live in the woods. You know what, power to her. And you know, piss drinking aside, cause I disagree with that. <laughs> um, I don't see nothing really terrible here. Like it's not ideal. And I don't think she would have been pushed to do it if she could afford to like live in a house but i also it's, it's honestly this is a weird one it's like a 50 50 i'm kind of like with her on some things and against her on others like i really do hate like governments and the, you know all the the money they try and pump out of us and they all get rich and we don't and it's just you know it is backwards there's no limits so no regrets um no i feel mm. I think she's regretful of something. And I'd like to know where the father is as well. I could always go back to living in a house if I wanted to. <laughs> Clearly, I don't want to at this time. I'm just really enjoying living in this little kind of fairy land. Nope, drinking your own piss. That that did it for me. Well, guys, that was kind of a 50-50 kind of thing. At first, it was like, oh, is this okay? Second, it was like, oh, you know what? It's not that bad. Like, it's a weird dynamic. Like, what are your thoughts on this style of living? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Guys, I have, um, my US tour is next year. Tickets are available. They're going to be available throughout the year. Once they're gone, they're gone. Link in description below. Like, love, crest my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. <laughs>